Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video with the American Stroke Foundation. My name is Chaz Trujillo, and I'm an occupational therapy student from the University of Kansas Medical Center. So today we're going to be doing some seated exercises at the kitchen table. All we're going to need today is a few household items that you might be able to find in your kitchen. So the main item that we're going to need today is just a regular old dish towel. And we're going to be able to do all the exercises with just our dish towel, okay? Um, if we want to do a little bit more challenging exercises, um, we can use a water bottle. And you'll see why a little bit later. So as usual, we're going to go ahead and start off our exercise with some deep breathing. Okay, we're going to do five deep breaths in through the nose for a count of three, two, one, and out through your mouth for five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Three, two, one. Breathe in through your nose. Smell the flowers. And out through your mouth. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in through your nose. Three, two, one. And out through your mouth. Five, four, three, two, one last breath here in through your nose and out through your mouth. All right, so now that we have our body prepped and ready for some exercises, we're going to go ahead and get started. So these exercises can be done before breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or you can do it when you're cleaning the table or dusting. Uh, and you need a little bit of break from standing, but you still want to get some exercise in. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and stretch our arms out in front of us. And if you've got some spasticity, make sure you go nice and slow because if we go fast and jerky, it's just going to make our muscles more tense and tight. So as we move forward, just go nice and slow and we're going to hold that for a couple seconds. Okay. So after we've been holding this stretch for about 10 seconds, we're going to go ahead and start stretching out our hand. Okay. So you can use your unaffected hand to slowly open your opposite hand. And then once we get that down, we're going to go ahead and flip it over and put it flat on our towel. Okay, and you can use your unaffected hand to help keep your other hand flat on the table. So now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and reach forward, extending our arms straight out in front of us, and then we'll bring our arms back in. And when you come in, make sure you come all the way back, try and touch your towel to your stomach and make sure you're really squeezing your shoulder blades together, okay? We're gonna do 10 of these, so that was one. Reach out, and bend at your waist a little bit, and then come back in, two. And you can go a little bit further, try your best to go a little bit further each time. That's three. Bring it back in, squeeze those shoulders together. So if you need a little bit of visual assistance, you can use your water bottle and place it out in front of you and then go ahead and reach out and extend your arms towards that water bottle, okay? So now we're going to go keep going, five, out, touch your water bottle if you have it, push it out a little bit further each time, six, push out. And back in, squeeze those shoulders together, seven, out, and in, eight, push out, a little bit further, bring it back in, nice and slow, nine, 
bring it back in. And last one here, bend. Okay, so it's important to make sure we keep breathing during our exercises. Okay, next we're gonna go diagonally to one side, all right? So we're just gonna reach out and back in. That's one, two, three. So these are good for getting some extra range of motion in and it gives us a chance to get some weight bearing through our affected hand. Eight, nine, reach out. Last one, 10, reach as far as you can to the edge of the table and bring it back in. Okay, so if you need to, you can go ahead and take a couple breaths here before you move on to the next exercise. So feel free to pause and come back uh, whenever you're ready. So we'll go to the other side. And this time, I'm gonna use my water bottle to help give me an aiming point to where I wanna go. I'm gonna reach out, touch that water bottle, be nice and careful. So when we use our water bottle, we're gonna be working on some muscle coordination and muscle control so that we have nice, smooth muscle movement and we're not pushing that water bottle over the edge of the table or accidentally spilling it. That's eight. Nine, reach out. Come back in, last one, and 10. Okay, so go ahead and come back to the center. You can go ahead and grab your water bottle, take a sip if you need to. Um, so the next one we're gonna do is go side to side. So we can start by stretching our arms out straight in front of us, and then we're just gonna go to the right or left, pause and then we'll come back the other way and we're going to do 10 of these okay that's one back to the other side that's two three four so this is a great exercise to also help incorporate some core work by working our obliques when we're moving side to side. So if you want a, <clears throat> a little bit of an extra challenge, you can go ahead and use your water bottle and set it here first, right in the middle, and then push it to the side, come down a little bit, and then go on the other side of the water bottle, and then go ahead and move it straight across. So again, we're working on that muscle coordination, and muscle control. We wanna focus on going nice and slow so that we don't spill our water bottle. And we've got a couple more here, okay? So this whole time your hand's been flat on the table. It's getting a really nice, great stretch. Last one here. Okay, go ahead and take a break. Okay, so our next move is gonna be stirring the pot. So we're basically just gonna make big circles going around and we're gonna do five one way and then we're gonna go five the other way. So that's two and three and four. Try and make the circles bigger each time. That's five. Okay, now we're gonna stay here and we're gonna go the opposite way. 
One, two, three. Whenever you get to the top, you can go ahead and bend forward. Four, last one, reach, and five. Okay, so we got a couple more exercises here. We're gonna go ahead and move on to bicep curls. So you can go ahead and clasp your hands together. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and bring our hands to our chin. So just right up. One, two, three. We're gonna do 10 of these. Four, Make sure you keep breathing. Five, six, and if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can bring your water bottle back in here. You can go ahead and grab onto your water bottle. And that's seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next exercise. So we wanna keep our hands clasped together and we'll start out in this neutral position and then we're gonna flip our hands one way and just hold it for a second and then we'll go ahead and flip the other way. And we'll do 10 of these. So that's two, three, Four, if you can, try your best to keep both elbows on the table the whole way through the motion, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. These are good for working on forearm strength and grip strength. And these are also working on the muscles that you use to open doorknobs. So moving right along here, we're gonna go ahead and work our wrist a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna flex one of our wrists and relax the other while getting a stretch. And we're gonna hold that for three seconds. And then we'll go ahead and relax and then flex the opposite wrist, get a nice stretch and then go back and we're gonna do this five times. So that's two. Back the other way for three seconds. Two, one. Back the other way. Three, two, one. That's three. Okay, turn it back the other way. Three, two, one. Last time here. Hold it. Three, two, one. Back the other way. Three, two, one. Okay, and relax. Go ahead and shake your arms out if you need to. Okay, and that concludes our exercises for the day. And I just want to thank you guys for tuning in and sticking it out. And as always, be sure to check out some of our other amazing videos on our YouTube page. And be sure to check out our Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video.